Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Art History Brush Tool will allow you to paint using a highly stylized stroke. You use data from either a specified history state or a snapshot of the photo in the history panel as the source for the tool. You can then use the options bar to change various settings of the Art History Brush Tool to change the size, texture, blending, and other options. Unlike the History Brush Tool, which we'll look at next, which also uses a previous state or snapshot of the image as a source for painting, the Art History Brush Tool allows you to specify additional artistic options in the Options bar to create different painting styles, almost as though you're painting on a canvas. To use this tool, open the photo that you want to use, Select the Art History Brush Tool from the toolbox. It's located right over here. Give that a click. Then click into the left box of the state or snapshot that you want to use as the basis for the tool in the History panel. So Window and History to open the History panel. We're going to use this snapshot here. So we'll want to make sure that this box right here is checked. And you should see a small picture of a paintbrush tip in that selected state in the leftmost box. You can then use the options bar to select your brush settings for the tool. We'll go up here. We have our size, of course, that we're going to use. We're going to increase the size just a little bit now. And I think that we'll select, instead of just a round brush, we'll select a dry brush tip with light flow. Again, this is just something you want to play around with until you get the settings for the effect that you so desire. You can use the mode drop down here, of course, to select a blending mode. We have normal, darken, lighten, hue, saturation, color, and luminosity. And we'll keep it at normal for now. Then we have the opacity slider, which allows you to set the opacity of the tool. And then we have the style dropdown to select a painting style for the tool. So we have several, tight short, tight medium, tight long, loose medium, loose long. We'll select dab for now, and then we'll look at what some of the other options are as well. The area text box located right here allows you to set in pixels the size of the area to paint with the selected tool. I think we'll drop that down to 50. We can always increase it later if we want. You can then use the tolerance slider to limit the regions to which the painted strokes will be applied. A higher tolerance setting allows you to paint unlimited strokes anywhere in the image. A lower tolerance setting will limit the strokes to areas that are considerably different from the selected source state or snapshot selected in the history panel. Once you have the settings set as you wish, you just click and drag in the image to apply the tool. It can be a fun experiment with this tool by adding a fill layer to the image before using the tool or by playing with the magnification of the image before using the tool. But feel free to experiment with this tool to create various painting styles that you can use in Photoshop. We'll go ahead and just click and drag in here. And we'll see what that effect does. So it really kind of makes it look as though it's a painting on a canvas. You can go back up and select a different style if you like, like tight long, and you can see what that does in your image. Or loose curl, for example, just gives you a slightly different brush stroke. So you can really play around with this tool and have some fun to really make it look as though you're painting on a canvas. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.